Hello, how's it going? Right, so today we're back with another video to try and beat boredom. And what are we looking at today? Well, we're looking at origami. Right, so origami is traditionally Japanese, and that was around about the 17th century AD, and it was more popularised outside of Japan in the mid to 1900s. Alright, then the word origami comes from the word ori, meaning folding, and gami, meaning paper. So it's like folding paper. Okay, so the way this is going to work out is I'm going to do a different origami design uh, for every other day of September. And then at the end of September, we should have a list of uh, various designs. I'm not going to count. Alright, uh, but yeah, this is me trying to beat boredom. So if you're all going to do it along as well, hopefully it's not going to be too hard. I think some of these are. But let's have a go. I'm also going to use one nice piece of paper for the main origami design. And then I'm going to practice on some uh, newspaper pages and some magazine pages to, to save the trees. Okay, so the first one is called a Mexican hat. Now I do believe this is just a normal hat though, you know, like everyone seems to know how to make a hat. So I'm going to have a guess and say it's the same one, just maybe a little bit different. Right, so first, we're going to fold it in half to crease the paper. So we have a guideline. And then we're going to unfold it, fold it in half the other way. And then from there, we're going to bring the corners in, and then, as you can see here, sort of, if I get it on the camera, we're going to fold it so that it matches up with the crease we made, so we know exactly where the centre is. And it's obviously, like I said, this is the hat. Everyone seems to know how to make the hat, usually out of newspaper. So it's a big hat. Right, and then from there, we're going to fold that over. same on the other side and usually that's where I would stop however this you know uh, what's it called instructions uh, say otherwise so what we're going to do is we're going to fold it out first so it's this way around which I know is the first steps of making a boat an origami boat right and then from there it says to fold up these bits using that crease as a guideline for the middle and the other side and then fold it out, out like a hat or where it was a hat and then pull on these two corner bits and using a guideline of where that is we can flat it out and it makes a, a, a so called Mexican hat or just a variation of a normal paper hat. Right, now next one is a little bit of a tricky one. I did try this already and failed multiple times. Uh, it is the iconic crane. I was gonna say swan, I suppose it is a swan. It's a swan crane, it's the same sort of thing. Right, and it's very hard to do. So first you need to start off with a square bit of paper. Okay, and to do that, I just folded that over so it's made like a triangle. And then I just ripped off this little part here. And it obviously makes a, should do, make a perfect square. Right, okay, what's the next step for my swan? I can't remember. Fold it like that, and then fold it over again. There we are, to make a triangle. Now, this is where it starts to get tricky. Okay, so now we need to sort of fold it over with this loop. Ugh, I hate doing this part. Um, hopefully you can follow along, it's a very tricky part and I couldn't quite get it. I had to watch a video to find out how to do it. Right, so how do they do it? I think they... Did something with the corners. Yes, so I think what it is, you put this corner up here, it was over here, to do this corner here. But then obviously you need to sort of... Oh, maybe it's that. I think it's that actually, yeah. So corners to pass it, yeah. So you hold that sort of square triangle down, sorry. And then bring the corner to the corner. Making sure it's all level, all matching up. And then fold it all down like that. And that's pretty tricky. It took me a while to get that. But then once you've done that, you'll have the triangle with the square on it, which is what I was going for. And then you flip it over and then do the same with the other side, I believe. 
So if we bring yeah, like that, this corner, down to that corner, and then fold it over to make a square again. But this time, with like a, like that. Right, so now the next step was uh, the, the actual hard part of this. The hard part I couldn't get the first time. So what you have to do is you have to sort of flip this bit up and then from there you need to bring these side bits in and fold them along this crease in the middle or fold in the middle. And I can do this and I still, probably still can't actually. I'm going to try again. It took me some tries when I did it the first time. And then we sort of need to fold this up. You sort of see what it's trying to do when it's when I've actually folded it properly. It's just a pain to get it like that in the first place. Well, I think that's it. So there we go. So it's done that. It's not very really level, which bugs me to no end. And it's still not level there. Ooh, my OCD is kicking in. Even though I don't officially have OCD, I'm just very fussy and picky. Bugging me so much. That's gonna have to do. I <laughs> can't do it anymore. But there we go, so it folds up like that. And then we do the same on the other side, which is hopefully gonna be easier because we're already on the other side, he says. Right, so it folds, this one goes here. Fold it along the, he says, along the, along the fold. And then the other side. Am I on the camera? I am on the camera still. It's all standing sideways so I can't quite see. There we go, that is that done. Now this, no not this, it's uh, the next step, sorry. We need to fold these corners over, or sides over there, and then put them to the crease in the centre. Like so. And guess what? We do the same on the other side. There we go. Right, now that, I believe, is something that is known as a bird base, which I'm guessing you use this to build other birds. Right, so what's the next one for a crane? Ooh, it's been a while. Right, next step, I think, is to fold them over like that, so that it's obviously flipped over like that. And then, you want to get this side, fold it up, to as far as you can go that over and do the same with the other side and fold it back out sorry to there and you want to pull these forward a little bit and as you can see this is starting to take shape you can probably guess roughly what it's going to look like now then once you've done that you need to sort of make the head by bending that down there's the head and the wings Fold them over, like so. And then you do what you want with them to make them look more wingy. I'm just going to wing it. Sorry. There we are. And then one last thing they do is to bring them out a little bit, because I'm guessing is to help it stand. So we'll see there at the bottom. And there we go. We've got a crane. Okay. Next one is a super simple one. It's a, a dog's face. Right, so you've got to start with a square piece of paper, and you see I've obviously got a crease there from where I've got the square. So you fold it over, and then this side you pull over like that to make something that is reminiscent of a dog's ear. Obviously how big they are, I suppose, is up to your own interpretation. And then you fold up the bottom to make the nose. So like I said, very simple, and it doesn't really look like a dog. But what you would do is you draw a nose on here, the mouth, and then two eyes there. That's a dog's face. Super simple. Right, okay, so this one we're gonna do a maple leaf now. Or a maple as it said on the instructions, but I'm pretty sure it's a maple leaf. Right, uh, I did do it once and I went wrong, that's why it's all crumpled up. Right, but first thing, see I did I made a square, and then what I did is I folded it over like that, 
and fold it there, turn it round, and fold it like that, and then like that. Okay, so the first step was, he says, uh, oh yes, to make that first step we did earlier. Right, now how did she do it? She did it a really easy way, and there we go, like that. Do you remember that big task we did in the crane? We had to sort of fold it over to make a pattern like that. See how easy that was? That was like five steps condensed into one. Really easy. Right, okay, the next step would be, oh, what side is it? I think it's this side. So we have to fold these over, like so. And then again there, to do the other side. And then again. Right, okay, now we unfold them. We do this, where we fold that over, fold that over, and then fold that up, and turn that over and do the same on this side. Unfold, put them on there, like so. Okay, right, next step. Okay, so the next step is to fold, make sure I get right here, fold these corners over again. Yes, we've got to fold these corners over. So, then again this side, and this side, right, now, it says, right, okay, the next step is to start making the actual leaves, so if we sort of flip underneath here, and get this, and pull it out, put it at an angle, fold this side over, then we'll get another one, just here, do the same, but do it at a slightly different angle. Like that. And then do the same. And do the same with yet another angle. Get a bit higher up. There we go, that'll work. So right now this one, got a back folder, this is called. by the look of it. There we are, fold that down. And that's the basic maple leaf there. Now all we need to do is use glue, which is his paper fold, and we shouldn't be using glue. Then we use glue, sort of glue that on, it's a stalk. We've got a maple leaf. Oh. Right, this next one seems tricky. It's a giant water bug, or water beetle. Right, so first we need to fold it over in half like this. It, fold it over like that into a triangle, turn it over, fold it over into another triangle. Right, this next part's a little bit tricky. Okay, so this next bit isn't tricky. It's uh, basically what he's been doing, or I've been doing for most of the other ones. It's folding it over like that, so that you get that sort of like shape like that, remember, with all the others. It's just another way of doing it. Right, okay, so then now, fold these over. Over to continue with the sort of same design we've been doing for everything else. And fold that down. Now he folded this down and then back up. Let's see if it helped because it seemed to help him. This part, which is wow, which it really does. That really does help. I have to remember that when I'm doing more cranes. Oops, I ripped the paper. That's not a good sign. It's not good. Yeah, what's gone on here? Too pointy. Okay, on the other side. And then. Let me do the same, see if it works. It helps out, we need much. Put it over. Over again. So I've got to straighten it out. Oh dear. This one is very horrible. Look at it. It's all crumpled up in the corners and everything. I don't get why this is doing it so horrible, like at the top. It doesn't seem to work very well. Oh well, anyway, but that's done. Okay, right, next step is to fold up these corners. Do that on both sides. Side. 
other side. And then they do that. And fold it over and do that. To get that shape. Now, I don't know. Okay, the next part, what was it he did? He... Was it this part? Was it this part? I did actually know. Ah, I see, it was this part, yeah, I remember now. So he folded that down. Like that. And then again, like that. Was that right, Wood? No, I see what he did. It was like that. Using the more traditional proper origami fold. Then like that. And I'm guessing these will be the, the mandibles. Bits at the top. And then he went folded this bit up. Then that bit down. So we pointed this one very points everywhere and then folded it back over, was it? No, that's not right. Up, down, because it did fold it back down, but he sort of bent it here, like a show. Okay, a bit freaky so far. Oh, I see, it's this whole thing, this whole pointy bit, so it just has to be bent over like that. And this side here, bent over as. I think, I think that's right. All right, but the next part is very, very nasty because he uses scissors. This is paper folding and origami. You shouldn't be using scissors, but I will try and do that now. Okay, so I've got my scissors now. So I need to put a slit just there, and another one just there. This is very, seems very tiny, very thin, detailed. All right, and then I need to fold that up. Like that. The same with the other one on the other side. So I don't know if you can see they're very, very thin and spindly. And then fold it over again. I think I might have done this wrong though, to be honest. There we are. So that's a few little spindly bug legs. And then these ones fold up like that. And again. And then you do the same. I've got an extra leg there, there apparently, for some reason. Do the same. Okay, and then you turn it over. And then you finish off the mandibles. Like so. And then you know, that's the water bug apparently. Although I think I might have done it wrong. But he uses scissors, so it's not origami. Okay, time for another super simple one. It's bananas. Okay, so first off, we start with a square, fold it in half, and then half again, like so, and unfold it again. Right, now this next one, how did we do it? Uh, I think you went up like that. Is that right? Or is that wrong? Quite wrong, actually. And then you turned it over. Mm. No, I see what we did. We did it up a bit higher, like so. Turn it over, fold that down, pick it up, and then fold it over like so. Right. right okay, now we need to make our first banana, and then our second banana, and then we have our super, super, super large banana there so we'll change it up a little bit to make, make the bananas more even. There we go, that's going I think. Turn that over, turn it over, fold this way up so it looks like a banana. And then turn it over. That's probably a little bit too much actually. Just change it slightly. And we've got a little bunch of bananas look. Okay so let's do a ghost. Uh, so I've started off with a square of paper. You know you fold it in you find out from there. So I've folded that in already, and then now we need to fold these corners in using the crease in the middle 
as a guideline. So we can fold them into there. And get on the other side. Then we do the same with the bottom bit. Creating like a diamond shape. Right, then you have to unfold these and then do something fancy there where you fold this one up instead of the first one this time and then and then we have to sort of do that so that's sort of creased and then fold it down and fold that tr new triangle we made up and do the same on the other side fold it down crease it so that the corners, so the points both meet, fold it up, and then that's that. Okay, next one, just fold over these corners here. Oh, they're getting it right, getting it on the centre. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. And then we're going to fold these these bits down here that we did earlier. Fold them up so they match. So sort of like you know the bit there where it's all there's no nothing. So it's like that. Then I'm going to fold over the top round. I did say this was a ghost, didn't I? I hope I said this was a ghost. It's a ghost if I didn't. Right now we need to work on the the uh, ghostly tail whatever that bit is called. So we'll fold that over like that. And then again, just here. And we've made a ghost. Of course you can draw a face, eyes there and everything. But we've made a ghost. Boom. Okay, next up we're going to do a, a simple one, which is a carrot. Uh, I said it was simple, I made a mistake. Which is why this is already already creased. Okay, so first off, start off with a square. Or a basic square, and then we're gonna fold it in half get the crease, or in my case a new crease, there, and then we're going to fold these corners in, like so, and again on the other side, make sure we have to definitely have a point at the end because it's definitely a carrot, it's got to be a pointy carrot. Okay, then next we do the same on the other side. other side. Again similar to the uh, ghost. I'm liking how all the techniques seem to be linked to the ones I'm choosing next. Although it wasn't planned, I promise. And then we simply lastly fold over this top bit over like so. And now is that it? Is that that done? It does seem like an awfully big carrot. I think I might improvise fold it over one last time just because I don't know if I've got a different size piece of paper but in fact that's actually wrong okay so anyway so imagine I've just folded it over a second time and then I've folded over the corners at the top then I've folded it over That's it. I'm not, I'm not sure she did a second a second fold of the sides, but I I am now anyway, because it's going to make it like a better carrot. And there's the first part of the carrot. Now for the top, you take another smaller piece of square paper. I think it's probably going to be too small, but we'll have to make do with what we got. Uh, so we do the same start off with principle, which is folding this corner in, and that corner in, and then at the top, simply fold it straight over. And then fold it in at the sides, and then get to the other side. Then flip it over. Then not drop it on the floor. And then do it over again. I've got probably a very small square, so I might not do this one. I might undo it after this. But you're supposed to do it again. But uh, to me, that looks like it's too small. So we're just going to stick at that one for now. And then this will glue, again with the glue, this is origami, it's paper folding, it's not cut and stick. But uh, there we go, they will be glue on there. 
and you've got a carrot. Okay, next we're going to do a pigeon, a panel of pigeons, or just one pigeon in this case. So, panel of pigeon. Okay, but anyway, we'll start off with a square. Then we're going to fold it in half. We we'll first fold it in half that way, and then fold it again that way. And you see, I've already started to do this just because I was a bit confused myself. Uh, and then you need to sort of bend it over so that it fits like that perfectly. So obviously that triangle, it's not really perfect, but so that triangle sort of fits there, and obviously that side sort of all works together and all fits like three different equal width pieces. Yeah. Okay, so I found out it was about there because it's sort of like that. So we fold that over like so. Crease it now. With this part here, take one piece of triangle and you want to swap it over so that it makes a sort of square. And then with that crease in the middle, you want to fold it over. He says. And then you get something that looks sort of like a bird already. So we're getting there. Okay, now we need to fold over the wings. I've already started just so I can see what I was doing. There we are. So that's the thing, wings folded over. Right, now is a tricky part. Uh, well, not actually that tricky, actually, now that I'm getting my hands on it. Uh, this little sort of, uh, what's it called, a pocket here. If you pull that out and then fold it up like that and then do the same on the other side. So pull the pocket out and then fold it up like that. Right, next one was to do the beak, which I think is this side. So if we do that, try and get it, sorry, a bit close to my face there. There we go, so that's its beak. Now, the tail, how did we do the tail again? Right, the tail, uh, we have to use this bit here. If we fold it over like that, I think it's like that. Right, and then you pull that apart, fold this bit underneath the pigeon, and then pull that one back around and then underneath the pigeon yet again. Which looks, the tail makes it look a bit spiky, it's a spiky tail pigeon. And then next, I'm not sure how they did it, but they sort of fiddle it around a little. Oh, there we go. They did that, like that. You pull it. That's uh, a bit too far down. But I think that's it. So now it's got its wings out. Well, I do prefer them up a little bit. And there we go, that's a pigeon. Our single pigeon for our panel of pigeons. In the interest of time, because this video is already 30 minutes long, uh, and because I accidentally deleted half of my footage, I have actually decided to take a few of these origami things out of the video. Uh, just so you know what they were, they were a bow, which you can see at the top there, uh, a rose, which is next to the cup of tea there, uh, a watermelon, which didn't turn out very well, a ladybug, which was okay, uh, a rubbish bin, which is uh, the boxy thing you can see there, uh, sweet corn, which didn't turn out very well as well, but that's all that I cut out. Uh, most of it was pretty rubbish, apart from the three you can see there, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, we didn't miss much. Okay, on to the last one. Okay, now it's for the last one. The ultimate test of origami skills, I think. I don't actually know how hard this is. It seems pretty simple. It's a dragon! Right, so square piece of paper. As usual, fold it in half. Well, triangle half. And then we do it again on the other side. Now I'm going all out on this one. I want this one actually work and be good because it looks really good from the picture I've seen and I want it to look like that. That's my last one. At least I can do is try it right. There we go, so like so. so. It's pretty the same as what we've always been doing, especially for the um that's uh, it's making like the I don't know what it is it's called, it's that sort of like the go-to origami thing that we do. That makes no sense at all, does it? I'm sorry. Right, so now we need to make that into a square. Like so. Right. Now, we need to fold these sides over, is it? I never know which one it is. It is this side, yes. Throughout this origami, month of origami, or video, whichever you want to call it. Okay, there we go. Side. To make a dragon. Do it. Right, okay. 
Now we need to do the same thing as before. And I'm going to be, do that trick that I learned from someone else to help you get a better fold. Fold that over so it makes a crease. It seems to make this step a lot easier. Don't be very difficult. I've just said it seems to make it easier. I would look rather silly, but then again, I would say it's an occupational hazard, but this isn't an occupation. Okay, other the side. Now there is something, in fact, I didn't fold that down. There we go, now I did. Cross, up, uh, cross. I said cross, I said cross, I said cross. And then it's not quite level, so do it again. Fold it. Good. Right, so now the next step is where it starts to differentiate from everything else. You fold those flaps down. I'm on the screen, I am on the screen. So you're back to like a triangle, these fold it down. Now this bit, now this top tip folds down into like the crossroads of the creases, just there. And then, you unfold that, and just check my notes. Yes, you pull it out like that. So it's a bit like a flower or whatever you want to call it. And then you have to sort of make these square bits actually a square, that makes sense. Like that. Make them more make them more prominent. More prominent. Prominent, I think is the right one. There we go, it looks a little bit poop. But so did his, so I'm assuming it's supposed to look like that. Right, and then what you have to do is to actually um, how did that exactly look? Because what he did is he folded it inwards. But I'm not sure, I don't think it was that. So I need to find out what that's supposed to look like. Bear with me. Okay. So it's like that. Is it? Don't, don't, don't be horrible. Look nice. Yeah, I think it's something like this. We need to get it right. that so that way that the top tip is folded down so it's like a cool little pattern although I'm not happy with that I need a pencil just to poke that down to make it there we go so like that there we go I'm happy with that now right and that's as far as I got let's look at the next bits okay right now you need to fold up these sides so it looks like the design we had earlier there we go and then this side it comes down here and folds across the middle crease then you unfold it, and then you fold it down again to make another crease, and you've got two creases there, and then you fold it all together like that, bend it both ways, but you leave it facing this way, and then you turn it over, and guess what? The same thing we always say, you do it with the other side, like a mirror image. Sort of. In fact, I think it is a mirror image. Um, now I can't remember where to go. It's. Ooh. Ew. Why am I confused? Is it like... I'm confused. Why is it not going? The other one went really easy. Why is this not? It's because I'm doing it wrong. Uh, and then you do it in the same direction as that way. So it's like a... It looks very dragon-esque, I thought, when I saw it. Right. Next little step is to, for this side here, to fold that up and fold the... Oops. To fold that triangle up like so. Hmm. I hate it when I do this and I look at it and I'm like, now I can't remember what he did. Um... Oh, I think I remember. I think I should probably double check. Yes, I think that's right. So this folds in to the centre. 
Okay, I hope this is right. I don't, I don't think it's right now. No, I think it is right. No, it is right. Okay, it's right. It's right. Yes, it's right. Good. Yes, good. There we are. So that's looking like a some sort of starship from like Final Fantasy or something like that. I suppose it's more airship than that though. Now we do the same with the other side. So it's up like that, weren't it? And then these go in like so. Is this definitely right? I don't think that's right, is it? No, I think it's the opposite of the way around, isn't it? Hmm. It must be like that. It is like that, isn't it? I just need to fold that so that it fits. And then does it go up like that? So is it supposed to look like that? Right, okay, now, before I started to do it, because it was a little bit tricky to watch the video, but fold this bit down, so you've got his here, and this bit folds over down to here. So if we fold it over, and this flap sort of naturally goes down like so. And then you do the same on the other side. And the flap naturally falls over. And then these wings, these bits here, which I'm assuming are going to be the wings, might be wrong though. Then you do the same with the other side. So that's two other sides. I've already said on this one thing that I'm doing now. There we go. Fold it over, down, point it, crease it, fold it down naturally. Okay, and then this. Pull it over, spike it. Streamline. It's going to be a speedy dragon, and then fold the wings back over like that. Doesn't look like much of a dragon yet, but it will do soon. After this step, or well not this step, but this part, it looks like a dragon. Right, okay, so you fold the wings up like that, and do the same with the other side. Make sure they're all fine. Now, like the crane head, you have to fold it up like so that down now this is the bit that I thought looked really cool because you could stop there I suppose but he did it again so now look at that it looks like a head when it's got horns how cool is that right so now with our coming together dragon my young dragon uh, we need to talk to make the tail now ooh. So it's, it's, it sort of curves it, it doesn't like fold it, it curves it round. It's a curly tail. So I would have thought that would do. It's curly, looks like a tail. Right now for the legs, and this is the last bit of the legs. Uh, so this bit here you have to fold over down there so it's like, yeah, I suppose it's supposed to go up there, but I think I did it wrong a little bit, so it's not quite there, but it's parallel with that and then unfold it, and then this part here has to match the fold you just did. So it's there, and down, and then this part here, fold down across the one you just did. And then, you sort of have to squeeze it together, so it comes to like that to point, and then down as well, and then out like so. So it made like that, or is it like that? I guess it can stay like that. So that's one leg. Now we'll do the same on the other side. Last leg of our journey. I apologise in every way known to man. Right, okay, and there's the last leg done. So let's fold the wings back as well. And that is a dragon. Look at that. That, that looks, that's alright. Maybe a little bit scruffy with the legs, but that's the design they made. It looks better than his, obviously he's done it before, but I quite like that. That's like a nice little dragon. Okay, so there we go, that's origami. Right, yeah, it was a lot of fun to do. Some of these were a bit tricky, uh, but obviously things like the dragon was a little bit tricky, but it was, I think it was rewarding at the end. Some of them were just terrible, like uh, the corn on the cob and the watermelon slice. Wouldn't do them again. They're, they're not very good. No, but some of them were very fun. And of course, this is trying to beat boredom. So it's your turn now. If you want to have a go at origami, send me some pictures and videos on whatever you have. I would love to see a few of them. Uh, but I think my favourite ones have to be the dragon and the the owl. Not the owl, the pigeon. They're my favourites. Uh, but yeah, I think that's about it now. It was quite fun doing this. I might try and master that rose as well. But I'm going to see what I can do. 
And I think that's about it now. That's origami done. It was a lot of fun, which it was. It's down to you. And yeah, that's it. So uh, thanks for watching. And uh, I shall see you next time for another Try Something video to try beat boredom. Bye.